What's up everybody, it's Chaz, and uh, today I got to do some fishing. Um, also got to do some fishing yesterday. Um, this is gonna be kind of like a, uh, a, a combined video. Did a little bit of offshore slash near shore yesterday. Um, ended up throwing some spoons. The, the spoon we were throwing is the Surf Spoon by Tsunami Baits. You can get them at Walmart, they're like three or four bucks, something like that, but they worked really, really well yesterday. Uh, we were slaying the bluefish and some decent sized bluefish on these spoons and uh, also hooked up on a redfish um, the first part of the day with the spoons. Um, but basically, you know, kind of did our thing yesterday and then decided to go out again this morning. And uh, this morning we were throwing some Fairhope rattles which guys, if you haven't tried out the Fairhope Rattles, hands down the best popping cork on the market. I highly recommend them. Um, they're a local company here, um, but they make a product that lasts and it works extremely well. Um, so we were just throwing the Fairhope Rattles with a uh, 20 pound mono leader and a voodoo shrimp underneath. Um, and that seemed to do the trick. We caught plenty of trout unfortunately the trout were not um of size um you know there's a lot of small schooly trout uh, but you know it's still fun to get out there and catch a bunch of trout um so here's the clip from uh offshore slash near shore yesterday oh oh, oh. yep All right, we should be good. Bluefish? Um, I can't tell. Look at all the fish surrounding him, though. Yeah, it is. That is so cool. Fish on. Oh, fish on. Good. Oh. Bite. Uh oh, I'm gonna have some fish. Bite. Come back for it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, to the front, because I got too much current. You got him? Yeah. All right. Oh, big blue. There you go. Big blue. Look, there's more chasing after him. Did you see that? Yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> Bam! Yeah! Hell yeah. Fish. Look at that fish, man. Oh, let me take a picture of him. Oh, you're gonna get your lure out anyway, right? Yeah. guys thanks for watching as you can see those those blue fish they put up a good fight and uh, they are some gnarly fish man this they have some serious teeth and uh, even with 30 pound mono leader they will they still ended up snapping uh, my leader ended up losing one of my spoons but that's all right <clears throat> I went ahead and replaced that and uh, here's the clips from this morning of the speckled trout fishing Another one. Leaving biting fish is a hard thing to do, dude. Hey, no. 
Another one. Another one? Yeah, dude. Are you using the voodoo shrimp? Yeah. Just pop it, stop. Pop it, stop. Oh, this is a white trout. This is, you can keep this. Do you want it? Ah, uh, he's too small. I mean, I don't know. Oh, just to lay him up? Yeah. He's... Fish tacos? Yeah. You want it? Put him over here. I got ice on In the back? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm popping the shit out of it though. Like I'm popping it hard. Like yeah. Like you want that nice sound. Man, if I were you, after you drop me off, come back here and freaking hit it again. Yeah, I am. Decent one. Now we're in the fish, dude. Now what? So now we're in the fish. Guys, thanks for watching. As you can see, there was plenty of scully trout out there and they were hitting, um, but there was just nothing of size. Um, you know, but it was still a good time to get out there and catch a bunch of trout. Guys, I can't stress this anymore. The Fairhope rattles are, they really just, they work well. They, you know, like I said, they're a, they're a company based out of Fairhope, Alabama. Local company, of, uh, the, actually the family makes um, these corks by hand. Everything's handmade here in Fairhope, Alabama. Um, they're available on uh, fairhoperattle.com as well as you can actually get them on Amazon. Um, so if you're, you know, you're looking to get some popping corks that work really well and that are durable um, and that do a great job, I would highly suggest giving the Fairhope Rattle a try. Um, but other than that, guys, it's been a fun weekend so far. We've managed to put fish in the boat, which is always a good thing. It's always fun when you're catching fish. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, hit that subscribe button below. Other than that, guys, I will see you next time. See ya.